New tonight, school or no school on Monday. Major updates from both Miami-Dade and Broward counties as anxious families stand by for the decision. Power outages, no routines, and lots of cabin fever. It's been a very long week after it's, Hurricane Irma. It sure has. So, school on Monday or no school on Monday? CBS Words' David Sutter live in Pembroke Pines with an answer. Tell us, David. The answer is maybe. We're looking at roughly an answer in 24 hours. The problem is in Miami-Dade, they have a roughly 100 schools still to fix. And here in Broward, they were supposed to have all of the schools up and running by midnight tonight. At the latest count, it looks like more than two dozen schools are still without power here. Meanwhile, parents are trying to work and they're also trying to entertain some kids. So who's excited to go back to school? Yeah, you're ready to go. As we head into the weekend, many parents are wondering if Monday will finally be the day their kids go back to school. It's been interesting trying to work with five year old, eight year olds, to say the least. So far, they have missed seven days, days that have been full of stress for those who evacuated. Going up to, to Atlanta, it was, it was a 20 hour trip, and that was miserable it puts it kind of lightly and stress for those who stayed we've been having a lot of stress and anxiety before the storm we went through the storm and there was a lot of hard work after the storm and we're just ready to get back to our normal life um, and that that's getting our house in order going back to work and most importantly getting the kids back to school Miami-Dade school superintendent has yet to commit uh, stay tuned uh, to your local station social media tonight we caught up with Broward school chief Robert Runcie so parents are, are hoping you have good news for them yeah well I don't have definitive news yet what I will tell you is that we remain optimistic as of Friday night Broward has 27 schools without power Miami-Dade has 100 schools either powerless or inaccessible due to debris while both districts are working around the clock Monday may not happen I'm concerned about how much school they're missing she's in third grade this year and that's a really big year so we're concerned that they're going to be missing a lot of material superintendent Runcie says the state is considering a couple of options we can integrate those days into the remaining days that we have left um, you know or get some waiver from the state meaning they would just shorten the school year in the meantime, Raj is making use of the family time. A community dodgeball game is planned for Saturday morning. Parents versus kids. We'll have a little bit of fellowship. Yes, parents ready to get back to school. Kids, not so much. I'm not going back. <laughs> Now, mom did chime in there and say, if school's open, you're going. So, parents, 24, hour, 24 more hours to go. We should have a definitive answer sometime late Saturday night. From Pepper Pines, David Sutter, CBS 4 News tonight.